Hello folks, I am recording this video 11.45 p.m. on Saturday, January 5th, 2019. It's probably going to be after midnight when this is uploaded, but this is important that I must discuss this with you all because you know how biased the media is, especially how we're on our 14th day of the partial government shutdown, and this is probably just going to be a backstory, but... As you know, the goal of this channel was to, of course, cover the real news, and this is, of course, a real news story. So, I am going to read you all what happened tonight on the Rockhakama branch. Unfortunately, we had another incident this year on the main line already. I I I've lost track three or four times since January 1st. It's now January 5th, five days into the new year. And another person was struck by a Long Island Railroad train. Unfortunately, there is some somber news as this ended up being a fatality. Let's read this article from Antonio Pinalis. A person died after being struck by a Long Island Railroad train Saturday night west of Brentwood causing service suspensions, MTA officials said. Um, one of the tweets that was sent out was the 712 train from Penn due to Rock Hakama at 8.35 p.m. was delayed west of Brentwood after striking an unauthorized person on the tracks near the station. Late Saturday night, the MTA had told Newsday in an email that the person struck was pronounced dead on the scene. Service was suspended between Farmingdale and Rock Hakama in both directions after the person was hit, officials from the Long Island Railroad said. Shortly before 11 p.m., Long Island Railroad tweeted that service was restored in both directions. Customers can anticipate residual delays up to 20 minutes as trains operate at a reduced speed through the area as a precaution, the agency said. The victim was not identified. I just want to quickly pull up the old MTA's website. Confirm that for a second. There we go. So I do want to show you the um, email. There we go. I got. So here's what we have um, from the email notification system. I quickly want to highlight one point here was that buses were secured. Buses were secured. And they were en route to the scene. So this is what you have with Philip Bang. You have more progress. Because the previous administration, led by Patrick Nowakowski, would have left you stranded. They would have left you stranded tonight. But anyhow, this email was excellent. I gotta give the I'm very impressed with the communication people at the Long Island Railroad tonight. Especially how they actually contacted Newsday about what had happened with the person unfortunately uh pronounced dead on the scene. But um they said service did come back in two hours, so I give them credit for that. They came up with an estimated time of when service would be um, restored. We suggest you use alternative branches if possible, such as the Huntington, Port Jefferson, or Bambadam branch, and they would keep everybody updated. So let's just check to see what we have right now. As of um, 11.45 p.m., the 1040 train from Rock Hakama doing the pen at 11.59 was departing 17 minutes late. Uh, the earlier incident, so that is some interesting news on that front. Let's just confirm to you all um, when this first broke. Just confirm that for just a second. Um, I'm trying to get you what time I got the first email at. Yes, so the railroad first reported this at 8.43 tonight, so... We want to mention that. I know it's a little bit off topic, but I want to talk to you all about something else that happened in Queens last night. Uh, I'll try to pull up a Newsday. Uh, not a Newsday. Newsday has something. Here we go. Because we're going to go with Newsday because I remember I have the, um, the JavaScript turned off, so it's just easier to go that way. So, um... Here's what I can tell you what happened last night in regards to um, the mortar main incident that happened last night on Northern Boulevard. So, um, 
happened at Northern Boulevard and 114th Street in East Elmhurst. Um, the sidewalk along with the pavement and the asphalt on Northern Boulevard collapsed Friday, January 4th into a 40 foot wide 12 meter crater near the construction site at a gas lane exploded. Um, the collapse prompted Con Edison to shut down the gas line and close part of Northern Boulevard where water was shooting out from a gaping hole next to the side of a planned new apartment building. The exact sequence of events that uh, accompanied the loud explosion was under investigation. Department of Building spokesman Andrew Ranowski said inspectors found a section of sidewalk and roadway to cave into the construction's evacuation. Um, at this moment, I can tell you that we do not know when the road will even be reopened. Um, I did get this email earlier tonight, about 30 minutes ago. There was earlier traffic on Astoria Boulevard and Northern Boulevard that affected Q19, Q48, and Q66 bus service because of this, and especially the Q66 the past couple of days. So, what we're going to do right now is just check to see if Notify NYC has even tweeted anything in the past couple of hours. Um, I'm trying to get you some information. Yeah, nothing about uh, the incident. Yeah, I don't see any other information at the moment. I can't get you uh, official information. All I can tell you right now is that this road is still closed. Once again, this road is still closed at the moment, unfortunately. Um... I will check the Office of Emergency Management to see if we can get any information. Office of Emergency Management. Let's see. Here we go. Do apologize. Let's see. Once again, there is no information at the moment. Uh, let's just check NYC DOT. So I can't really get you any other information at the moment. Ah, here we go. At underscore. There's nothing from them at the moment. So I can't really get you uh, any information. Um, you know what? Let me try to pull up an ACOT needle tab. See if I can pull that up for you all. If I can't, I do apologize. Let's see if I can get that. There we go. Excellent. Now you all can see the ACOT needle tab because I have finally figured out how to properly work Google Maps on an ACOT needle tab because I don't need you all seeing my personal stuff that, you know, personal to me and. One last thing, we'll just check Google Maps, see if any information is available to you all. Yes, so at the moment, as I'm recording this, the road is still closed. The road is still closed. So, uh, they better reopen this by Monday, because if not, uh, I may have to show you all the traffic in Auburndale on Monday. Uh, it's clear now. Clear now, but wait until Monday. Wait until Monday, because I have a bad feeling if Northern Boulevard's closed in East Elmhurst, traffic's going to be backed up all the way to Auburndale. This is, this is unacceptable. I understand this, this is an eruption, but I'm just annoyed. I really am. You know, I don't want to rant about this, but... Um, once again, we don't know when Northern Boulevard will be open, but if I have any information tomorrow, I will let you all know immediately. Once again, I will do another pre-recorded video because it's um, appropriate. And one more quick note, if you are seeing this video in 720, I do apologize. Um, it's for the best interest of getting this video out to you all quickly because 1080 just, you know, renders it too long. So... That being all said, that's going to wrap up this video. Thank you all for watching. Until the next one, please take care.